Hi, I'm Alice and this is My Frugal Wonderland and today I have another Hobby Lobby clearance haul. This is a collective haul, so it's probably a bunch of things you've already seen on other people's hauls. I recently went this week, today is March 26th, and then I did find a few new Hobby Lobby clearance items. So if you want to see what I got, just keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I recently just got. So the first thing I picked up was this five millimeter um, foam. These were on clearance for 37 cents each. So I actually picked these up when they first went on clearance. Um, but when I went recently, they still had a whole bunch. So I decided to go ahead and just grab a couple more. Um, they've been sitting there for over a month. So I decided, all right, no one else wants it. I'll go ahead and grab a couple more. I still left some, they still had a whole bunch. Um, and then I also picked up this one, um, just a black one. I use these things all the time. I usually use these for shakers because they cut really well on my dye machine. This one wasn't on clearance, but the reason I picked up this one specifically was because it was still $1.49. And then most of them now are actually $1.99. So when I saw this, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and grab it. And this one was a little messed up, but I thought it's okay because I use them, um, in for like shakers so you won't even see that piece but the girl was really nice because um i didn't even mention anything they were just all together and she saw that it was messed up and she said i'm just going to give it to you for the 37 cents as well so hey i got a black one for 37 cents and i was really happy about it so this isn't really a new clearance item, but I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I recently saw someone haul it and I passed this on over because um, this was less than 50% off. So it wasn't even 50% off. So I was really debating on whether or not I should get it. But when I saw someone, they mentioned that it was over 3000 beads in here. So it comes with eight colors and then 3,000 beads. So I decided, you know what, that seemed a, like not a bad price for that many beads. And um, I decided I would just go ahead and grab it. So for $3.99, you get over 3,000 beads. I will definitely take it. So <laughs> that's the first thing I picked up. So when I went in, their um, St. Patrick's Day stuff was 90% off. So I decided I would go ahead and grab a bunch of St. Patrick's Day stuff. So this was um, a 54 piece set of um, the little wood pieces and this was only 29 cents each. So I did grab a couple of those. And then they had the St. Patrick's Day straws. This was also 29 cents. And then they had a bunch of these little um, word sets, the little decorations, and they're already colored. And I decided to go ahead and pick this up. And then this was 25 cents each. Comes with two Luckies, two St. Patrick's, and two Shamrock signs. So definitely can use those for next year. And I really want to do seasonal um, crafting next year. So that is my goal for next year. Not this year, next year. <laughs> And then they had a huge stack of these, like they had a ton of these left and I thought they were really cute and I thought it would be great to save for next year. And these were only 19 cents each. So I did grab a few of those. And then they had a bunch of these uh, shamrock little earrings left. And I thought, the, I love using these acrylic earrings for uh, dangles or like chunky charms. So I decided to grab a couple of these because they had a ton and these were only 25 cents each. And then they had this glitter shamrock. It comes with 190 pieces um, and this was only 35 cents. And these are the foam glitter stickers. And then I grabbed um, a couple pairs of these uh, St. Patrick's Day socks. Uh, I decided this would be cute to save for next year. And these were only 29 cents each. Um, the last thing I grabbed was this beautiful green glitter ribbon. Um, it is, it comes with 10 yards and this was only 79 cents. Um, 
they had a bunch of ribbon but i decided i would not grab any because i have a ton of ribbon i only grabbed this one because um green it's green it's glitter it's beautiful and green is my favorite color i found in the wearable art section i guess that's what they would call it like um the patches the iron-ons um the shoes, the hair accessories, those type of things. They had a bunch of things on clearance. Um, I only grabbed a few items, things I thought I would use. Um, I noticed that a lot of the stuff wasn't 75% off. A lot of them were only 50% off. Um, I did end up grabbing these two iron-on patches. They're like this um, they're almost like fuzzy unicorn ones. I thought this would be really cute. Um, I could either save it for crafting, but I was thinking of making something for my kids. I haven't decided what, if I want to make a little purse or something, or I don't know. I just thought these were cute. I would grab them and these were um, 99 cents. So this one was 75% off. So that was new to me. Then they had a bunch of socks on clearance and I decided to grab more socks. Yes, I did grab a bunch of Dollar Tree, but I decided to grab some. I thought these would be cute to throw in like my niece's Easter baskets, um, but I grabbed them. Um, these ones were on clearance for 62 cents and it comes with, um, they come with three pairs. So this one, I grabbed two of each, um, was a dinosaur pack. They're cute. And then this one is like mushrooms and little Nomi homies and just a regular striped one. So I thought these were cute. And then I saw they had this three pack of hair clips for only 99 cents. And I'm so mad because I actually, um, I went back to Dollar Tree and I found a bunch of new items and I bought a bunch of hair clips because I basically only have my hair up in a hair clip. So I knew I needed more because I just need to throw away the ones I already have. Um, but these were only 99 cents. I only brought, bought one set because I, like I said, I bought a bunch at Dollar Tree recently. So yeah, more hair clips. I use these like literally every single day. <laughs> And then I decided to go ahead and pick up this faux leather cherry one. So I originally saw this when it was on clearance, but um, I only got the lemon one and then I decided not to get the cherry one, but I am doing a um, fruit swap. So I decided I would go ahead and pick this up and it was $1.74. So in the wearable art section, I did find these little shoe decals. They had a bunch of them, but um, these ones weren't so sunflowers I thought they were so cute and you know what they had their shoes on clearance and I should have got a pair for myself now that I think about it because I could put those uh, decals these decals on those yeah well I'll have to go back and see if they still have more in my size so these are one of the items that were only 50% off but it's these uh, shoe charms and this was on clearance for $2.74. It comes with eight pieces. They're just like these enamel um, charms and they were butterflies and flowers and I love butterflies. So I decided I would just go ahead and grab it. So I was excited and all this is new to me. I haven't seen anyone haul it yet, but I haven't really had a chance to watch hauls lately. And then I found this uh, really beautiful embroidered trim. It's just right under yard. Uh, it was on the clearance section for $1.81. I thought it was really pretty. So I decided that I would go ahead and grab that. And then in the frame section, they had a bunch of frames on clearance, but on top of that, they had some framing accessories on clearance. And I decided to go ahead and grab um, a few packs of these little five inch French cleats. This is um, what we like to use at my house um, to hang up our, um, any type of art or frames. Um, they kind of, hang like that the reason we like using these because it holds up to 50 pounds and i just feel like it's more secure i've always used these type of um hanging things but um especially like especially now with little ones i just feel more secure having these type of hangers um, to hang up anything that we decide to put on the wall so 
when I saw these on clearance, these were originally $7.49 and I got them for $1.87. I thought that wasn't bad, so I decided to grab those. So that is everything that I picked up recently. So now I'm just going to show you everything else. Let me make some room. First off, I saw that they had a bunch of these little um, tape. <laughs> what is it? It's almost like duct tape. Um, but these were originally $2.99 and these sunflower ones were on sale for only $0.74. Cents. Uh, yes, I needed these in my life. They come with 10 yards and um, sunflowers are my favorite flowers and I needed them. And I thought this would be really cute to I'm doing a B I'm hosting a B theme swap and I thought these would be cute to tape up everyone's boxes when I send it off to them if they're not bees but they go together I think hand in hand so I decided to grab these I grabbed quite a few of these because they had a bunch uh, for 74 cents I will definitely use them next in like the poster section I don't even know what to call it but um they had these adhesive gems so it was a 1400 pack and it was on sale for 324 so this was only 50 percent off but I thought it was still a really good deal because you get one two three four five sheets so five different colors of little rhinestone adhesive i mean even just one sheet i pay a dollar 24 at dollar tree so <laughs> i thought this wasn't bad and i would definitely use them so I liked how it had all the different shapes, so I picked up one pack of those. I thought this was interesting, this um, metallic colors. Um, it came with six markers for $2.49. This was only 50% off, and it says it writes on dark and light surfaces, so I thought this would be fun to play around with. Another thing I wanted to play with was these glitter markers. It says glitter without the glue, and I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It sounded like those would be nice. I'll definitely have to try that out. I decided to grab these um, dry erase markers for my daughter. I picked up this um, these Disney like dry erase little learning books from the 99 and um, I decided I would get these little colored markers for my daughter. And then I also found these ones and these ones were on clearance for 74 cents so these ones were cheaper than those um but um these ones i think might be better for her because they're washable <laughs> and you know kids can be messy but but my four-year-old she's actually pretty clean when it comes to playing with markers and stuff like that so she could probably play with these so everyone knows they have a bunch of glitter on sale i only grabbed one of the ones in the jars um i usually don't like these ones because they're a little too fine i feel like they stick to everything but this one was only 99 cents and i like the colors and i thought i could definitely use this but when i was looking at it it kind of looks like it was already used it's not full at all i don't know yeah this looks like it's been used but that's okay <laughs> I mean, there's still a whole bunch in there, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I saw these green pom-poms and yeah, these were on sale for 37 cents and they're green. Green's my favorite color. And then I'm sure everyone has seen they have a bunch of sequins on clearance. I grabbed a ton. Um, I went, when I went this week, they still had a bunch on clearance, but um, this is just what I grabbed when they first started putting them on clearance. This was 32 cents for the orange ones, 24 cents for the red ones. And of course, you know, I had to get the honeybee ones because I'm hosting my first swap and it's bee themed. So I needed to get those. Um, I originally wasn't going to get this pack, but those gloves were so cute. I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and get it. This was 57 cents. Little woodland themed. This was uh, 57 cents. I really want to do a woodland project, so I grabbed those. This one was 57 cents, and this was like summer themed with the little slippers and the sun. I thought that was super cute. And then, of course, I had to get this like sea life one, little seashells, definitely giving me mermaid vibes. I need to do, and I am going to do a mermaid theme um, project, another mermaid one, 57 cents. This little 
candy little sweet treat one this was 57 cents and then of course the flowers these were 57 cents and the last one was this uh, summery tropical one with pineapples and flamingos and this one was 49 cents so those are the styles i got they had a whole bunch of other ones and they still have a bunch at least at my store then i grabbed a bunch of the large felt sheets these were on sale for 44 cents i grabbed this beautiful like navy and pink one and of course you know i needed to get the mint green and um, like I said, 44 cents. I want to see how these cut on my die cutting machine because these are the thicker ones. So they're more sturdy. This one's 44 cents. Um, I wanted to play around with that. And then this one, I wasn't too sure what I'm going to do with this, but it's this chevron print and this was only 24 cents and it's the large sheets. And then I decided to grab these faux fur. Um, this one was 74 cents and then this one was 69 cents and this is like a mint green. Um, I, I've seen people like I really want to find a white one because I thought that I could find more uses with that but I've seen people use these like faux fur to add to their projects and I think it's so cute it adds texture it adds color um i definitely wanted to play around with these and for that price i thought it wasn't bad and then i grabbed a bunch of the smaller um felt sheets these were 24 cents each but um i really like these ones because like i said these are the more sturdy ones um, this one was 24 cents with the donuts and then this black and white one this one, I really want to do a black and white themed project. I have a lot of projects in my head that I want to do. This one was 49 cents each. And then these two were um, 24 cents each. And I have a bunch of ribbons to match this. So I definitely need to do a project with that. And then I decided to just grab some of their faux leather sheets. I know I grabbed... Um, their full leather ribbon, but I thought this wasn't bad for 62 cents. I would get this animal print one. And then this star one was uh, 49 cents. This one, 49 cents. And I thought that wasn't bad. And this pretty colorful one, 49 cents as well. And then I was able to find more of the black um, cards and envelope set. These ones were 99 cents. So I definitely want to pick those up. And then in the poster board section, I did find these uh, poster stickers. They're just like a sweet treat themed. It comes with two sheets, 29 pieces, and this was only 49 cents. So I did end up grabbing those. And then I also found this magnetic um, blackboard sheet and this one was $1.49. I guess that's kind of expensive for a blackboard, but that's fine, I got it. And then I just grabbed a white chalkboard marker. This one was only 49 cents. And then in the poster section, I did end up grabbing these little poster accessories. This woodland one was only 24 cents. And then this tropical one, this one was also 20, or no, not 24, no, that one's 24 cents. This one is 74 cents. I'm not sure how many pieces come in there. I'm guessing 36. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then I grabbed two of these ones. These ones were 57 cents each. And I thought these would be great. Um, like if you want to use it to make a wand or anything layering. Um, they're already cut out in circles and different sizes. And I thought this would be great for so many projects. And they're pastel colors. So they'll work with so many different things. And then same goes with these ones. I decided to go ahead and grab these because for the same reason and these are like more muted tones they're kind of like fall they could work for um, Halloween also but definitely thought these were super useful and only for 57 cents definitely wanted to grab those and then I saw this while I was there this was only a dollar 74 and it comes with um, 36 pieces and <laughs> I've said it so many times. I'm hosting a, a swap and it's bee themed and this was sunflowers and bees and I decided to grab it. I probably should have grabbed two to be honest because I love this so much but I grabbed one. 
if they have more i might grab another one because this is so adorable and for a dollar 79 i definitely think that's an amazing price and then i was able to get some of these um shrink films um these ones were 2.49 each it comes with six sheets and i think you could print on this which i think is awesome i definitely want to play around with that um and then this one here it's black i don't know maybe this would be better for die cutting it says color stamp emboss paint yeah i, I don't think you could print on this one but um this one was also 249 so i will definitely be playing with those and then i of course i always check their clearance wall um they still had a bunch of valentine's day stuff um, I grabbed this pack of 12 piece little like Rubik's cubes. These ones were 65 cents. I saw these um, Mandalorian little Valentines and then these were two, um, this was 29 cents and um, I thought this would be um, cute. I could fussy cut these and use them as little um, ephemera pieces. I found the little um, red yarn wrapped hearts i got the white ones before so i decided to go ahead and grab the red ones these were only 59 cents and then these little vintage inspired little um kickstands these ones were 34 cents each and um, i just grabbed two um i could definitely take out the little stand and use these to decorate some projects and then i found this christmas um cord it comes with 30 feet and it was 69 cents and then i found this 10 sheet pack of specialty paper originally it was on clearance for 5.99 and then it had a clearance sticker for 2.24 so they gave it to me for 2.24 i could already see there's chunky glitter in there so i don't really want to get too into it but we have like a foiled heart and then a foiled polka dot two of those or maybe three. Oh no oh hey there's like this honeycomb one perfect there's three of those and then we have this gold one here that's kind of uh has that like crinkled look to it and then we have two chunky glitter sheets that i'm not going to come out because those i'm not going to take those out because those are um you can see they shed Alrighty, last bag we have this paper mache um box it comes with three pieces um i thought this would be fun to decorate and this was a dollar 24 and then they had these cute little boxes this was more expensive than those bigger ones and these were a dollar 37 and these also come oh actually this comes with four pieces oh that's cute i thought it was three but i guess it's four. Oh, that's not bad and then i found a random dies um, i'm pretty sure someone returned these um but they should have been at 90 percent off but it's okay these were three this one was 374 and it comes with the three pieces and i think all, yeah all three should be in there um but yeah i'm pretty sure these this should have been at 90 percent off but this was um the other one i picked up and then i saw this um happy planner set it comes with 169 pieces for a dollar 74 and it's just a bunch of floral um little theme stickers and they're like foiled i totally forgot i grabbed these but these are some bright markers these were on sale for a dollar 49 12 pieces um yeah just markers <laughs> more valentine's day clearance i grabbed these two flags these were 39 cents each and then my store is kind of a newer store they moved from one location to another one so they basically just took their whole store and moved it i want to say in january um so they started a new section that is like the sewing clearance section that they never had and it looks like they found a ton of of sewing clearance that they never put out so that whole sewing section was fully stocked and it was things that I had never seen at that store. So I grabbed this sewing kit. It They had it, I think, in pink and I forgot what other color. There was one other color, um, but I just grabbed the green one. This was $1.99 and it comes with all these pieces here. It says 93 pieces, but I'm sure they count every single needle. 
um, but I went ahead and grabbed it and it's like the, um, what is it? Singer brand. And then they had a ton of these, um, what is it? The washi tape that's on the little wooden rolls. So I decided to go ahead and grab those. It was a dollar 49. And then I just grabbed this neutral fat quarter bundle. Um, it comes with five pieces and, um, it was a dollar 74. I grabbed one of these little shiny, um, blacks. This was a dollar 49. And then I grabbed, um, this pearl pink. I don't remember if I saw this one. This was a dollar 49. I grabbed this shiny silver one, um, a dollar 74. Then we have this just regular gold one. This one was a dollar 74. Then they had this pink, hot pink glitter, a dollar 49. Then just a regular cream colored one, a dollar 49. I wanted to get some basics. I've been really enjoying playing with this faux leather. And then just a regular silver leather. Then this dark brown, it looks black, but it says it's dark brown, a dollar 49. And then there's this glitter black, a dollar 49. And then I grabbed um, these two pens. They were 69 cents. I just realized that this one might be broken. I don't know if I could open it up and try to fix it. If not, I could just try to make this into a wand or something because that pen part, I believe, is broken. But um, they're just two different colors and those are 69 cents. And the last item I picked up, I was really excited about um, on that sewing back wall, I was able to find this black and gold measuring tape and this is everything um i love black and i love gold so <laughs> this was a dollar 49 and it's just a measuring tape and yeah i wanted it i was sad that i wasn't able to find it and when i saw it randomly at the store i decided to pick it up so that is everything i got at Hobby Lobby. This is a huge haul, obviously. Like I said, it's a collective haul, everything I've picked up over the past month. But if you like this haul, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. All right, guys, till the next one. Bye.